Hi. Hi. No, doll. I'm, I'm just doing Judy. The <laughs> Doing the Sorry. Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of What's in My Makeup Bag. Today I'm here with the fabulous G. Hi everyone. He's from marketing, <laughs> um, he's a marketing whiz. And he's also a makeup lover. So today we are going to be going through his makeup bag and seeing what his faves are. Do you want to say a few words about yourself? I know, what do you want What's me to say? What's your favourite colour? His favourite colour is... What is your favourite colour? Navy blue, it is trademark. Really? Trademark. Recently, mm. hot tip, I actually said to James, one of our founders, I yeah. said black is a default navy is a choice nice. words to live by let's just pretend i called you up and i'm like we're going to europe you have to pack light what are you packing take us through it okay so i would say that my makeup style mm -hmm. is like almost look airbrushed like yeah. it's, it's evening out complexion mm -hmm. primer i use bobby brown vitamin and rich face base mm. i have used this for years stunning, stunning um and i again find it's a little bit more forgiving it's not water based it no. feels more like a gel yeah it's like a gel moisturizer yeah and it's now a super public secret to use this as primer but it oh, used yeah. to be like the makeup secret mm, to use it as primer use moisturizer, yeah. but i absolutely love it it helps product blend on it's mm. not heavy amazing product yes it's very nice it's very nice okay anyway, so i've got three face. foundations i'm bringing with mm -hmm. me because they do different things yeah. now firstly hot tip for guys yeah. doing makeup yes. where it could be a bit scary i don't know if you'll agree with this but mm. stick foundations yeah i think they are super super easy mm. great over like the nose mm. where it's harder to like the yeah. coverage yeah. so okay. definitely start with makeup forever stick foundation it's really, I'm really not great shading product. it in why i actually don't know 225 there you go my new find is actually luminous silk foundation mm. and but um i describe foundations as sometimes being quite wet yep. and i find yep. that with like a really <laughs> liquidy foundation it goes on you think oh that's cold yeah because it's weird it feels heavy because it's, it's, yeah. it's weird mm. but when you find the right brush yep. it goes on beautifully Agreed. and i actually really like that again really great if you are someone looking for just a super natural coverage you can build mm. it if you want bit bougie which definitely makes you feel a bit a it bit nice bougie. in the morning yeah but again beautiful beautiful product i am in shade five five final one mm -hmm. and this one is very very nice so this is max studio radiance face and body it is the renovated formula of face and body been around mm -hmm. for years and years and years but like it's always really big in photo shoots and yeah. on movie sets mm -hmm. particularly for guys because yeah. it's super lightweight yeah i just love it i mix it into all of my clients as well yeah. no matter even if they're oily i will use like a really mattifying mm. foundation with a bit of that in it other hot tip i have is with beards the mm. lighter the better yeah because it blends down more if you are applying um foundation into a beard for the first time start from the center of your face work outwards and upwards and then just feather the product down you so do don't do that just for like me. go straight in because it will get yeah. stuck yeah yeah no 100 percent. Mm -hmm. so i have been using the bobby brown um skin concealer stick so you can see a, a trend here yeah. i love these products you can see i've nearly run out Ooh, so i will be topping yep. up sometimes i'll buy a, a concealer that's like a shade lighter than i should to brighten yeah other times i'll want it to blend or, or something like that coverage yeah. yeah this came out a couple of months ago i love so those concealers. good yeah, yeah i will really be nice. rebuying other favorite is the if someone on touche mm -hmm. um look shade range could be better yes but still it is a really great mm. highlighting product i'd say very sheer the reason yeah. why i have it in my concealer part is because mm. i like it on the inner eye mm. just if you're feeling a bit tired from a few yeah. reds the night before initially <laughs> you're gonna need that absolutely 100 the other one that i'm really enjoying is mm. the benefit concealer boing mm -hmm. bright on concealer really great product this came out this year the thing that i'm obsessed with is yeah. actually the small dough hook mm -hmm. not a huge dough hook which i think is really really great yeah you can really yep. get in there nice dots it blends well concealers are done we're done with all what of like the base i think bronzers bronzer, yeah. i am a bronzer queen yes. i love a bronzer so i'm over bronzed like... today but we're working with it and i do use mine kind of all over yeah but mm -hmm. i do try and do the pockets like to, to do it yeah it. just to chisel it down a bit yep. and if your beard is thicker that day damn you're looking good in the google yes. facetime it works so that's the that's the winning duo. The beard and the bronzer I works really well. <laughs>
<laughs> MAC um, bronzing powder has been yep. with me for a very, very long time. Liz was just using that in her video. It's so it's a, no, good. It's a really universal. And you can, it's genuine. Like yep. I'm really running out of it. it I have rebought it time and time again. And then one of my newer ones that I'm kind of playing with at the moment is the Benefit. This is actually Hula Glow, mm -hmm. which is their glow version of their very yep. iconic MAC bronzer. Very powerful bronzer, yeah. I would say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, a, there's, a, there's a lot of product there. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah um, absolutely. I do enjoy the magnetic yeah, container, and though. That's to chic. travel with, it's really good because very Comes light. with a little brush. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, no, I really love that product. I think it's yeah. um, really great value for money. Yeah, I think they're great. Let's set. I do do a bit of powder. I do mm -hmm. a translucent powder. Yeah. Um, I must say I've used this powder for a little while now, and I'm really loving it. It's mm -hmm. the one that we all know and love. Make it's it the Make It Forever translucent powder. I do it through the T-zone. Yep. And because I sit like this, mm -hmm. looking all cute, yeah. I have to powder because otherwise I get bronzer foundation and bronzer all over my pad. Yep. yep. It's not great. I'm quite well known for my brows. Yes. So my brows, everyone, I would say are natural yep. and that... I keep them in shape, mm -hmm. but they don't wax them or thread them or yes. anything like that. They are the density that you see is mm -hmm. natural. So all I use is clear brow gel, and Love clear that. brow gel was the first thing I ever started buying oh, makeup really? wise. Hundred percent. And just for all the guys out there, mm -hmm. actually no, for everyone out there, Pop if there is one cherry. thing you do, yeah. buy clear brow gel. Yeah. Do your brows. Mm, Absolutely. Agreed. So I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills clear brow gel. Mm -hmm. It is just the mini. Show but everyone the little one. It is a nice little brush, actually. Yeah, it's cute, it's isn't super it? nice. Now, I'm currently using a mascara that we sell, but I don't Pop know if we brown. have the color. It is the Longcom Hypnose Mascara. Yeah. It looks really great in black, and I mm -hmm. used to use the black one, funnily enough. And then I discovered brown. Yeah. And brown is changing my life. It's but very soft. Brown is really hard to get. Yeah, we actually do have one online. It's the L'Oreal Paris Volume Million uh, Lashes yes. Balm Noir Mascara Brown. I highly recommend. Yeah, um, and if you're worried about it looking looking like you're wearing mascara if you want it to it look like undetectable just take some off with your fingies mm. or with a little spoolie and it will look super super natural and so i highly recommend mm. mascara i just think it is it just adds the final definition to the eye mm -hmm. and i also only do it on the top i don't really yeah, do it the on bottom. the bottom no that's fair that looks much more natural yeah. i would say but yeah. i learned that tip from megan it was really really great yeah and then final tip from me this is definitely travel size yes but i love those. the little yeah. the little one is prep and prime matte mm -hmm. prep and prime fix blood yeah i have learned the hard way yeah. put it on after you put your clothes on because otherwise you're getting makeup on your jumper yeah not yeah, a great yeah, yeah. look because it's still wet it's very wet yeah, 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 yeah. um but definitely you know oh spritz we're doing a spritz that wasn't a good okay. spritz though so don't put that on um <laughs> But look, Fix Plus, I think it's a really great product just to refresh um, throughout. Yeah. yeah. Well, Gee, thank you so much for joining us today. I'm going to be series regular. All right. All He's coming back, I'm coming everyone. back, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really excellent routine. <laughs> That's my look. It's thorough. I feel like I already knew it because I've yeah. done your makeup before. Yeah. But it's thorough. If you have any questions at all, please just pop them in the comments and we will get back to you. If you want to watch any more of these videos, just click over here in the corner. If you like this video, please be sure to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Bye.